I wish people just waited on me like that, hand and foot. Hey everybody, I'm Amber, a disabled gal, here to reveal or remind you that you're complete in Jesus Christ alone. Something I hear non-disabled people saying to disabled people is something along the lines of this. You have such an easy life. Wow, I wish I didn't have to do things for myself. Your life is so easy. I wish people just waited on me like that, hand and foot. I'm going to try as best as I can to explain this from a not emotional reaction. Statements like this are incredibly rude. First of all, the majority of people that have a disability did not choose to have their disability. A very, very small number of people actually inflict a disability upon themselves. Most of us are either born with our disability or we acquired it due to an accident or an illness. I obviously can't speak for all disabled people, but I think the majority of us go through some sort of grieving process. And I do think this is true regardless of if you're born with a disability or not. For people born with their disability, I think it comes in the form of identity issues during childhood. I know for me, it was hard to watch people that were the same age as me being able to do things that I just couldn't do. And as I got older and older, they seemed to gain more and more abilities that I will never gain. One of the most challenging aspects of my life is coming to terms with the fact and having peace and contentment, you know, in the Lord amongst my limitations. So when someone says like, boy, you have such an easy life, you don't have to do X, Y, and Z. It's like, do you think we don't want to do X, Y, and Z? Do you think we like depending on other people? You know, some things in life you might not really like, but when you're able to do it, you have control over if that thing gets done. When you're depending on somebody else, you don't always have control on if that thing gets done. And this is true regardless of if your caregiver is paid or not. Your paid caregiver might decide not to show up and not even tell you they're not showing up. You know, changing gears a little bit here, I'm just making a comparison. One of the offensive things about the gospel is it tells us that we are not enough on our own. We are completely dependent upon Jesus Christ. People don't like the fact that they have to depend on somebody else. Does that sound familiar with disability at all? Like, it's very natural for disabled people to not like depending on other people. Just like in our sinful nature, it's natural to not like the idea of depending on Jesus. There's even this belief that it's quote-unquote toxic to say that we are not enough and we need Jesus. You know, you'll hear messages like, you're perfect the way you are, you don't need to change, live your truth, rather than living God's truth. And his truth is the truth, with a capital T. So I just find it interesting that people so easily recognize that it's offensive to say we're not enough on our own, we need Jesus. But yet these same people don't see anything offensive about pointing out how much of a quote-unquote easy life disabled people have because they have to depend on other people. That's just kind of an observation I've seen being a Christian, living with a disability. I hope this video was edifying to you and thank you so much for watching. A huge, huge, huge thank you. To my supporters, you guys really do bless this ministry tremendously, and God bless you all. The video you just saw was made by Fallible Christians. Although we diligently seek to represent the God of the Bible accurately, please understand that we are still being sanctified. For absolute truth, please refer to the Bible.